Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Hopeful Chewbacca at the Church of Chewbacca, and today we're going to go over the Jew Monthly Awards. I'm sorry that this video is coming out a day late. I know they came out yesterday, June 11th, and today's June 12th. I apologize for the day late video. Some stuff happened. I passed out on my in-law's couch. Life happens sometimes, but we're going to get back to these daily videos now, and I apologize for the day delay for anybody that was looking for this video. So we're going to go over how you unlock each of the awards in the monthly program as well as I'm going to go over each and every one of the four cards and give them Chewy ratings for how much it takes to get them, for what their overall is, and what it means for them in the game right now. Hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up to like it, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm going to upload these videos and when they hit the open YouTube market. Guys... Let's get into the June Monthly Awards and how you unlock them and how I feel you should go about them. Okay, so for the first stage, how you get the Mike Zanino that you can see on the board already there, that 85 overall diamond, is you want to go into the moments, you want to do his moments. However, I'm going to show you where there's an easier way to do the moments for everybody in this monthly awards program because you should knock out all the moments just to start. They are the best way to get the needed points to unlock all of the cards for free. Everybody likes the free 99. Nobody wants to pay stubs to get these cards. Plus, if you do it for free, you get stubs along the way. When we go over the awards, we will look at them. All right, so you want to go into the main Diamond Dynasty menus, and you want to go to where it says play at the top, and you want to go to the moments tile here. You're going to hit moments. Once you pop into the moments, you're going to hit monthly awards. As you can see, they have them for all four of the players for June, between Zanino, Aguilar, Anderson, and LeMahieu. Right now, the only ones unlocked, if you haven't done any of the program, is Mike Zanino. So you want to go in here and you want to play these five moments. They're on veteran. They're not too hard. Knock these five out. And then I will explain a little bit further how you can get the Mike Zanino. Also, just for a quick side note before we go, how you unlock Mike Zanino, is these will not be unlocked until you get stage one. But I will tell you exactly how to get to stage two, stage three, and then to complete stage four. And I think the best ways to go about it. All right, back at the screen where the July monthly awards is to look at the rewards. So once you've knocked out the moments with Mike Zanino and got these 15 monthly award points, you want to go to missions. And I recommend for the missions either playing the event and getting these tally extra base hits with catchers or tally hits with Mariners in the event that's going on right now. It is the Moonshot event, so it's like common pitchers against anybody you want left-handed. You should just be mashing the ball. That's why they call it the Moonshot event. I bet you there's going to be another Moonshot event in a couple weeks or a week and a half that is for right-handed batters and left-handed pitchers. But for now, either do the online missions or knock out this exchange. It shouldn't be that hard to exchange Mariners and Catchers. Just get silver, 76 overall, 77 overall, or 78 overall. Exchange them real quick. Just tally five extra base hits with catchers online. So maybe put a catcher and then a primary catcher with first base that can also bat left-handed. Or tally hits with Mariners. Either one of these online pretty quickly to do with the Moonshine event going on. I think so. L load up on some guys like uh, v Vogelbach and other guys like that that you should easily be able to get these lefty hits in the, in the event. If not, do the exchange. So that'll give you the 25 points. So let's go over the reward path. And when we're going over the reward path, I will explain to you what you should do to get the next card. So once you've unlocked the Mike Zanino, there will still be missions and moments here. But you can literally just play the defeat the whoever on all-star or higher plus the moments and it will get you the necessary 25 monthly Award points to unlock the next tier. So I would not spend any money on exchanges past the Mike Zanino. And if you need further explanation, hit me up in the comments below. I'll explain it to you further. I can even probably put on a little video clip or do something for you on PSN if you want to add me on PlayStation. Hopeful 1137. I'll explain it to you a little bit further about what I'm talking about. But this is the third one. You guys should pretty much be able to understand how to get the card for free. If you have some trouble though, comment below. Now let's go over this reward path and rate each one of the cards on the reward path to show you what you're getting for this month and give them their Chewy rating. I know you guys want to know how good these cards are and what I think about them with those Chewy ratings. I know you guys have been eating that up. I hope you guys have been enjoying it at least. So let's look at what you get in this monthly reward path. 10 monthly points, you get 500 stubs. At 15 monthly points, you get a one show pack. 
Hopefully, you guys pull a diamond in some of these show packs you get for free on this reward path. I'm praying for you. I'm hoping for you guys. I hope everyone hits big because that's what I like to see. I like to see people that play the game get those good cards, especially for free. So at 20 monthly points, you get 1,000 stubs. Then when you get to 25 monthly points, you unlock this Mike Zanino. Let's go look at this Mike Zanino card in depth a little bit. So this is an 85 overall Mike Zanino from the Seattle Mariners in 2017, June. He was the fifth player in Mariners history with a 10 home run and 30 RBI month ever. I think some of the other guys that do this are Ken Griffey and Edgar Martinez. And I'm not even sure if Edgar Martinez was one of them. I know Ken Griffey is 100% one of them. I know Nelson Cruz did it once. I think Edgar Martinez was another guy that did it once. I think Griffey did it more than once. But he, in this month, he batted 304, 10 home runs, 31 RBIs. Pretty ridiculous month for anybody, let alone a catcher. We all know a lot of catchers do not produce as much offensively because they're mostly known for their defensive prowess. So looking at the card, he has... Right-handed batting, right-handed throwing, the 85 overall that I've already mentioned. Only position he can play is catcher. He played no secondaries. And he has silver hitting and diamond defense. Looking at his hitting attributes, 58 contact versus righty, 79 contact versus lefty, 86 power versus righty, 96 power versus lefty with a whopping 22 vision. Ugh, that's, that's not good. He, he might as well be blind. Did he play baseball in college at the Helen Keller School for the Blind and the Deaf? Like, how does he have 22 vision, 54 discipline, 92 clutch? Can't really bunt. You probably have to be able to see the ball to bunt. Um, he has 87 fielding, 78 arm strength, 88 arm accuracy, 80 reaction, and 81 blocking with 34 speed and a zero steal, which means he stole no bases in June of 2017. I did look that up. He didn't steal any bases. I could have gave you guys a fatter stat line for him, but I think that these cards are just based on the month itself. It's really hard to find a good stat line for just those months because a lot of the archives are kind of washed a little bit. But... You're not going to see what Zanino anyways. Honestly, you probably shouldn't even have him in your lineup as a catcher unless you're a brand new player. However, in some maybe moonshot events or some other events, he might be useful if there becomes a player of the month event. Because I think this is the first catcher we have seen that is a player of the month card. Guys, he has good power hitting. Zanino's always had good power. Even his live series has good power. But he has no contact, no vision, semi-decent fielder. I'm giving this card two chewies it's just not a good card the 22 vision with this card is going to kill you even on all-star you're probably going to play this card on veteran only against the computer if you really want to use it he could be a pretty decent card though if you got to knock out some seattle mariners daily missions to get some program stars but guys i just am not a huge fan of this card two chewies that's the final decision let's go and look at the rest of the rewards in this monthly award program so at 30 monthly points here you unlock two show packs just hopefully you guys get something good out of them. Praying for you guys. At 35 program points, you get 1,000 stubs. At 40 program points, you get another three show packs. At 45 program points, you get 1,500 stubs. At 50 monthly program points, you're going to get an 87 overall. Jesus Aguilar. Let's go and look at this card. In 2018, in the month of June... Jesus Aguilar bust onto the scene for the Milwaukee Brewers. He batted 313 with 10 home runs and 24 RBIs. He had an 11-game stretch where he was on a rampage. He was like a bowl in a china closet. Eight home runs and 17 RBIs. Ridiculous. In 11 games, he almost hit a home run a game. That's that's stupid. That's really, really good. Looking at this card, he's a first baseman that bats right-handed, throws right-handed, 87 overall with... Diamond hitting, bronze defense, secondary of third base, six foot three, two hundred and fifty pounds. He also tried out for linebacker for the Green Bay Packers in the offseason. Didn't really happen, but with those dimensions, he could probably fill a couple holes on the defensive side of the ball. 85 contact versus righty, 103 contact versus lefty, 100 power versus righty with 95 power versus lefty, 48 vision. This must be a trending theme for the month of June. Everybody needed glasses because their vision is low. 65 discipline, 58 clutch. He also can't bunt because it's hard to bunt if you can't see. We've established that with Zanino. 86 durability, which doesn't mean anything for Diamond Dynasty. I don't know why they don't just remove the attribute on the car, but I guess it's just a built-in attribute, so they leave it there. 59 fielding, 59 arm strength, 67 arm accuracy, 63 reaction with 15 speed. Zero stealing. So, so far, the first two guys are absolute tanks. 
They hit the ball hard, they're slow as dirt, and they can't steal. They're also partially blind. Jesus Aguilar, though, has a super glitchy swing. I played with the card quite a bit, being that I got stuck with the Miami Marlins in a local Diamond Dynasty League, and he absolutely mashed for me. Yeah, he was on all-star difficulty, but his regular card match for me is a really good swing. He drives the ball, line drives or fly balls all day long. Really like his swing. Because of that, I'm going to give this card a 3.5 Chewies rating. Great power, good contact, low vision. I don't know if you need a first baseman or not, but if you're new to the game, this guy could fit the bill. Not the best defensively. Don't play him at third base. I wouldn't. But at first base, he's a big body. He'll block the ball some. And he has tremendous power. I give him 3.5 Chewies. Once you've gotten Jesus Aguilar, you move on to 55 monthly program points. And you get another show pack. At 60 monthly points, you're going to get 1,500 stubs. 65, three show packs. 70, 2,000 stubs. At 75 monthly points, you get Chase Anderson, another Milwaukee Brewer. Let's go and see what he looks like. June 2017, Chase Anderson, absolutely on fire. Struck out 33 batters in 34.2 innings pitched. And they gave him a 78K per nine. How much sense does that make? I mean, I know he's not the end game card, and I know he didn't win player of the month, but really? 78K per nine? He almost struck out a batter per inning as a starting pitcher. There's no way his K per nine should be 78. Terrible. This is the second time in a row they have screwed up a pitcher's attributes based on how well he pitched in a month. Last month, we had the guy from the Dodgers, the left handed pitcher. I get he throws meatballs and he throws at about 90 miles an hour in real life. But they gave him crappy attributes. Like, why? Can I put a good pitch in these monthly programs? Even the glass now was not good. Like, what the? What are they doing? This pitcher is useless at this point in the game. Anyway, in the month, he was 3-1 and one with an ERA of 1.56 and a whip of 0.72. Those are ridiculous numbers in real life. His attributes should be way higher. He throws five pitches. He's a right-handed throwing, 89 overall, starting pitcher. He throws a four-seam fastball, a sinker, a circle change, a curveball, and a cutter. He's going to throw it about 97 miles an hour. His sinker's going to go about 96. His circle change is 84. Curveball, 79 miles per hour. His cutter's 91 miles an hour. Look at his attributes real quick. 87 stamina, 86 hits per nine, 78K per nine, 85 base on balls per nine, 65 home run per nine, 84 pitching clutch, 74 control, 90 velocity, 85 break. Guys, I'm not going to do a whole in-depth review. I've already spoke my mind about this K per 9 and how it should be much higher. His per 9 should be higher. The dude had a 1.56 ERA with a 0.72 whip. His stuff should be in the 90s. The stamina, you can argue, because I don't know how many pitches he threw in his starts. I couldn't find the statistics for it. But this card is terrible. He's getting a half chewy. He doesn't even get a full chewy. This is a bad card. Half a chewy. There's way better pitchers in the game, 89 overall. The fact, this is just a disgrace to how well Chase Anderson pitched. And I'm a Pirates fan. The Brewers wax us every year in Milwaukee. It's embarrassing. Even when the Pirates were good, the Milwaukee Brewers still wax us every year. I don't like them because they whip our ass. So, terrible card. Half a Chewy. I'm disappointed at SDS for this card. Can we get a decent pitcher in one of the player programs? An 89 overall isn't going to cut it in this game right now. You can... Buy a Michael Kopik that's a 87 overall for like 8,000 stubs. It's 10 times the pitcher this card is. Absolutely terrible. Once you get this Chase Anderson that isn't rated the way he should be, at 80 monthly program points, you get two show packs. 85, 2,000 stubs. At 90 monthly points, you're going to get a 92 overall DJ LeMayhew from 2019. Let's go take a look at this card. 92 overall, second baseman for the New York Yankees, DJ LeMahieu. Right-handed throwing, right-handed batting. Secondary is a first base, third base, shortstop. He's six foot four, 215 pounds. Would be a nasty wide receiver if he ran the 40 a little bit faster in college. His hitting is diamond, his defense is diamond. Let's look at what he did in the month of June of 2019. He batted 395 with six home runs and 29 RBIs. He had the most hits in the majors with 45. He had the second best average and the third most RBIs. So looking at the card, 113 contact versus righty, 101 contact versus lefty, 78 power versus righty, 60 power versus lefty with 83 vision. Finally, a card that can see. 83 vision, pretty good vision with the contact. He's going to have a pretty big PCI. 
I'm liking how that looks. 61 discipline, 112 clutch. He's 56 bunting. Really, you're not going to bunt too much with a 92 overall DJ LeMahieu at the 51 speed, if I'm being honest. He has 86 fielding, 67 arm strength, 87 arm accuracy with 97 reaction, 51 speed, 30 stealing, 16 base run aggressiveness. If you are a new player to this game, this is a very good second baseman or card to have in general. He can play all over the infield, plug and play, definitely has good contact, he has a glitchy swing, he has good vision, pretty decent power, he's going to hit the ball into the gaps, and I really, really like this DJ LeMayhew. This card fits how he played in June, unlike the Chase Anderson we just went over. This card, for me, being that it's a free card, and it can be plug and played anywhere in the infield, he's going to play defense very well in the infield, especially with that 97 reaction, 86 fielding. I would try to play him on the corners or second base. I don't think he really has the arm strength for shortstop, but he can play shortstop if needed. However, the other two monthly programs that you should also go out and grind are shortstops and should be used as your shortstop and third baseman with this DJ LeMayhew at second base. So I'm going to give this DJ LeMayhew four chewies, glitchy swing, great contact, absolutely free card. If you're brand new to the game, this card can definitely help out your infield. All right, once you got DJ LeMayhew, and if you're a new player, plug them in in your lineup. I'll probably use him maybe as a pinch hitter. Might just try him out some. I really do like DJ LeMayhew's swing. I've liked it since, I don't know, MLB The Show 16, 17. His swing hasn't changed at all. He has a very good swing. I like him when he's on the Rockies for his swing. I think it hasn't changed at all, and his card only gets better every year because he's becoming a better and better player on the Yankees. Once you get him... You move to 95 monthly points, and you get this cool, awesome green lightning bat to go along with it. Yellow and blue one. I'd rather see them put like a balling as a habit pack here or something else, but whatever. Bat skins are kind of cool. I think they're kind of corny at the same time, but eh, whatever. Okay, now the big prize. 100 monthly points, and you get this 17 lightning Cody Bellinger. Let's do a quick review of this card and see what it looks like. June 2017, Cody Bellinger... Hitting the ball pretty well. Not the best batting average at 286, but he had 13 home runs and 27 RBIs. He set the Dodgers rookie record with 13 home runs in June. Absolutely ridiculous month for a rookie in Major League Baseball history. It's a 97 overall first baseman. He's left-handed throwing, left-handed batting, diamond hitting, diamond defense. Can play all three positions in the outfield. Left field, center field, and right field. He's six foot four, 210 pounds. Definitely a big body, nice and lanky. Has a really smooth, sweet swing in real life, just like in the video game. For his attributes, he has 83 contact versus righty, 90 contact versus lefty, 108 power versus righty, 105 power versus lefty with 55 vision. Back to the theme of everyone is blind in the month of June. The sun must be really bright. The only guy that had decent vision was DJ LeMahieu. 88 discipline, 87 clutch. He has 25 bunting. If you bunt with this court, Cody Bellinger, I don't know what you're doing. I don't even think the shift is automatically on for this card, so I wouldn't bunt with him. 93 fielding, 99 arm strength, 83 arm accuracy with 95 reaction, 79 speed, 59 stealing, and 59 base run aggressiveness. So we've been waiting, and we've been waiting for him to finally come out with a power bat at first base that wasn't Jason Giambi. Well, we finally got one. It's Cody Bellinger. June 2017 Player of the Month. Absolutely nasty power numbers. 108 power versus righty, 105 power versus lefty. That's what I like to see from my first baseman. I like guys that hit bombs. However, the 55 vision will hurt this card, especially with the not super great contact. On Legend and on Hall of Fame difficulties, his PCI is not going to be that big. However, at first base, you're looking at Matt Olson numbers. 93 fielding, 95 reaction. That's ridiculous. He's going to field everything. He's going to be shut down. Plus, if you put him in right field, he has a cannon. 99 arm strength? You can't ask for anything better than that. Very, very good card. I really like the way it is. My only downside is the vision, which is why this Cody Bellinger gets a 4.5 Chewies rather than a 5 Chewies. If he had better vision, this would be a 5 Chewy card. But it's 4.5. That's going to wrap up this review for Cody Bellinger. Very good first baseman. I actually recommend playing him in right field because I don't think you're going to find arm strength like that or fielding. The 79 speed is going to be more than ample to flag down stuff in the corners. And he has great power. I really like his swing. Guys, go and get this Cody Bellinger. Go and get the DD Gregorius and the Carlos Correa from the other months if you haven't gotten them yet too and you're new to the game. I'm telling you, these three cards are good. These three cards alone you'll have 
either a first baseman, a shortstop, and a third baseman, or you have a, an outfielder and your shortstop and third baseman or second baseman or whatever. These cards are three good cards that you need to add to your lineup, especially since you can prestige all three of them. This Cody Bellinger win prestige is going to be nasty. All right, boys, that's the Drew Monthly Awards program and the review of all four cards. Remember, guys, none of these guys can see really well. So I would be safe out there. It's kind of bright in the month of June, apparently. You guys be safe and have a great day.